evening, it was a lawsuit that brought about the biggest change to local politics in decades. The recently redrawn county supervisors district lines, a hot button issue in small farming communities in Kern County. And tonight, residents in one community coming together to discuss what their future elected leadership may look like. 23 ABC's Alyssa Flores was at a town hall meeting in Delano today where residents voiced their opinions on what their priorities will be as they prepare to vote for a supervisor of their new district. Alyssa. Tim, Jessica, redistricting means that 4th District Supervisor David Couch is going to have to defend his county seat two years sooner than expected. And he's going to be up against Delano, Delano Mayor Grace Vallejo tonight. Voters in Delano expressing their opinions on the needs that they want met, whether it's a Latino heading their district or not. It's, it's a new district. I have an opportunity to vote for a, a representative that reflects our community. Another district in Kern County where Latinos holds the majority. We all have, share a lot of values and share a lot of the same um, demographics. District 4 drastically different after a victory for the Mexican American Legal Defense and Educational Fund over the county of Kern. Citing the Voting Rights Act, a federal district court ordered the county to adjust supervisor boundaries to to create a new Latino majority district. Gary Rodriguez was a plaintiff in the voting rights lawsuit and hoping the new voting lines will mean new leadership. There is a slew of issues, mainly issues that we felt that have not been um, dealt with by the current supervisors. District 4 now up for grabs and now encompassing Wasco, Shafter, Arvin, Lamont and Delano. Come November, District 4 Supervisor David Couch and Delano Mayor Grace Vallejo will be up against each other for the county seat. Wednesday night, voters discussing needs that they feel are not being met under current leadership. We still have failing septic tanks in our communities. We have communities that have uh, poor lighting, we have communities that have no sidewalks, no gutters, okay, no, no sewer systems. We have contaminated water. Funding mental health services, um, that's something that we were just discussing right now. Um, we can't tackle crime and drug issues in, in, in Kern County if we're not first tackling mental health services. Some saying they want it to be a Latino to head their new Latino majority district. I, I think a Latino candidate would be preferable, but the, 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 the point here is to elect a candidate of choice that is going to be responsive to the needs of the community. While others say the needs of the new district will speak for themselves. This district represents a lot more communities that weren't before. Whoever we were elect, no matter who it is, a Latino or a non-Latino, um, I think that the will of the people will, you know, supersede. Tonight's meeting hosted by Community Leadership Alliance for Democracy, Kern. They're going to be hosting more meetings in other cities that fall into District 4. The next expected to happen in Chapter on June 6th. We'll be posting more information about that on our website, turn to 23.com. In downtown Bakersfield, Alyssa Flores, 23 ABC News. Alyssa, thanks for that presentation.